Okay, we are on day 38 and we are talking about embracing process. And the devotional says, in the middle of the discomfort, it's important to remember that higher purpose is always on the other side of process. God sends his promise by way of process, which is why... which is why we miss it. We think it is going to fall out of the sky like manna from heaven, but navigating the gap, the zone of growth from transition and divine reinvention is where we must go to enter our promised land. Our purpose, more provision, more healing, and even more miracles are all on the other side of the process. The gap is your wilderness between Egypt, what you've known, and the promised land, what you've been praying for and are destined for. What we're moving toward is not necessarily a bigger house, more money, less stress, a better relationship. Although I have no doubt that everything is better on the other side of surrender. God doesn't leave our heart's desires behind as he ushers us into our destiny. But this isn't about stuff. It's about exchanging your current plans for the life God is calling you towards. And it's about getting where God needs you to accomplish something new that heaven is seeking to do. Listen, God is trying to do bigger things. God is trying to do more things. God is trying to do some things in your life. This is the problem that we all have. We all have a problem with embracing the process because the process can be hard. The process can be daunting. The process is ugly. The process though is the process. This. Talked about in uh, on day 37. If you have not got that message, go back and get it. Birthing, right? When a woman gives birth, the process is messy, but the outcome is beautiful. We have got to be able to embrace the process. We have got to be able to say, God, I have no clue what I am doing right now. It's me and you, and I'm going to let you lead, and I'm going to put one foot in front of the other. And if this is your process, God, I surrender to it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but you know what I'm capable of. So I'm going to put my right foot in front of my left foot, and we're going to just keep this train moving. And guess what? If I stumble, Lord, help me. Catch me before. I fall. If I need help, God, send somebody to lift my arms. God, in the season of transition, in the process, we are going to fumble. We are going to stumble. We're not going to know everything, but guess what? God sends us everything that we need. He's already equipped us with everything inside of us that we need to get from here to there. Embrace the process because God is trying to do a new thing. If we do not embrace the process or see the promised land,